Welcome back. We have the current points leader for the Camping World Truck Series, John Hunter Nemechek, joining us right now. Get ready for the playoffs. It'll be opening up this Friday night at Worldwide Technology Raceway in St. Louis. John, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Boy, it's exciting time of the year here. It's uh, time to get at it, try to win a championship, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, luckily, we've been able to win five times this year. Um, so far, and uh, locked up the regular season championship that uh, helped give us uh, some more playoff points, um, and, and luckily to have a little bit of a cushion there um, and a security policy um, f- for us. But it's down time to, to the year's end and playoff time. Um, everything counts now. How do you change your whole approach now that you're into the playoffs? Does anything change, or do you go about it just like you always have? <laughs> Uh, well, we kind of came in with the championship mindset from the beginning of the year, um, and that was to win as many races as we possibly could, uh, be a contender every single week, and minimize mistakes. Uh, and, and when you're able to do that from uh, early part of the year and continue that and have momentum on your side, I definitely feel like that helped. So um, our mindset hasn't changed. Uh, it's still using our hashtag, hashtag here for wins. We want to go out and win stages. Uh, win the race and lock ourselves into that next round and, and be a part of that final four come Phoenix. Uh, your last win, you say you won five races this year. Your last win uh, hasn't been since late June. Uh, once you got to, to that point in the season, was it trying to, was the focus to trying to win that regular season championship or uh, did you just continue to try to win races? Yeah, we, we just continued to try and win races. Um, we've only raced twice since then. So, uh, we have a second place finish and I think 11th place finish. So we've been in contention. Uh, we've been fast, uh, those two weeks since the last win. Um, we just got to keep on with it and, uh, head down, um, th- those two races too, since, uh, late June have been dirt and a-, a road course as well. Um, so we're back to ovals now and, uh, our sights are set on, on St. Louis, uh, and, and then, uh, Darlington and Bristol. Um, the first round I feel like is really good racetracks for us and, Hopefully we can go get quite a few more wins here before the year's done. How do you approach, uh, I call it Gateway, Worldwide Technology Raceway? It's a different kind of racetrack, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, one and two and three and four are completely different corners. Uh, trying to get your truck set up for both ends is definitely difficult, but at the same time, it, it can be done, and you can be super fast there. So um, let, let's hope that we hit the setup how we needed to, and, uh, get everything the, the the right way and be able to go out there and uh, be the dominant truck. Now, what's been your experience at this racetrack in the past? I was trying to look back to see how you've done. You've raced there before, right? Yeah, I have. Uh, I've I've won there in uh, I think 2017, um, and we've run really well there every time we've been there. Um, so for me, uh, I like the racetrack. Uh, I feel like Caldwell Motorsports has always been fast there as well. They've always been contention uh, for, for winning races there, and uh, hopefully uh, we have the winning combination. How important is that to get off the bat in the playoffs by getting victory? How important would that be just to do that right out of the gate? I mean, I think it would be huge for myself and our team. Uh, we, we can't lose focus on the overall picture, and that's uh, to make it to Phoenix, to have a shot for the championship and go and win it. But um, if you're able to win uh, that first race of the playoffs, then it, it locks you into the next round, which is uh, really awesome. So being able to be locked in uh, to the next round so early, um, you, you can focus on going out and trying to get some more playoff points and winning stages and races and not having to worry until that second round starts. All right. What's that been like driving for Kyle Busch? <laughs> I, I've enjoyed driving for Kyle, um, being able to drive for him and, uh, him be a, a boss and a mentor um, has definitely been super exciting for myself. Um, I, I feel like we're friends off the racetrack as well. And I've been able to ask him a lot of questions, pick his brain. Uh, I've been able to race against him a few times this year, which has been awesome. And um, he, he's a huge part of the KBM organization. And uh, I'm just lucky to be one of the drivers here uh, at Calbush Motorsports holding the, the wheel of our fast toy at a Tundras every week. He's got to be proud with the performance that you've had this year. Do you feel any extra pressure? <laughs> uh, no extra pressure. Um, we just we're we're here to win races. We're hashtag here for wins, and uh, we want to go out and win everything that we possibly can, including uh, that big trophy come year's end. 
All right, you've uh, gone and you know running full time in the truck series. You've been to the cup level. You've done that. Uh, just how important is it for you to uh, be at a high level, no matter what series you're running in? Just kind of talk about uh, racing in the cup level and then uh, coming back and going for a championship in the in the truck series. How important is it for you to run up front, no matter what series you're running in? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to run up front. You have to win races to be talked about and uh, to, to have opportunities uh, like, like I have this year with Toyota and uh, Kyle Busch Motorsports and TRD. Um, it, it's been a huge uh, accomplishment to be able to come back to the truck series and have five wins on the year and uh, be one of the favorites every week. Um, I, I don't discredit anything from the, the NASCAR Cup Series uh, from the year that I ran in it and gained a lot of valuable experience and knowledge, but um, for me, I'm, I'm not just one to say that I'm I'm a NASCAR Cup Series driver. I want to win races. I want to be at the top level, and uh, I want to continue to try and win championships. Um, that that's who I am. That's who I am as a person. I'm always striving for more, and I uh, just want to continue to to do everything that I can to to be on that top step of the podium. Talk about the influence your dad has had on your entire racing career. Uh, you know, you've learned how to do it the hard way and learned a lot of great things from your dad. Just talk about his influence. Yeah, dad, uh, I mean, they, he's the reason that I'm at the level that I am. And uh, it's been a huge accomplishment for myself to be able to be underneath his wing and him be a boss, uh, an advisor, a mentor. Now as a dad, uh, kind of uh, fitting that role now. So um, he, he gave me a lot. Um, we were able to win, I think, six truck races with him at Nemco Motorsports. And um, it, it's been a, a long time coming to continue to try and win races. But um, everything in, in the reason that I'm here is because of him. So um, he, he taught me a lot of great values, taught me to learn and, and respect my equipment and do whatever it takes, uh, no matter how many hours of hard work it, it takes put in uh, to be victorious. Uh, the name and check name is, uh, is big at Kansas Speedway. Remember when your dad uh, doubled up on both the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series back in 2004. Then you came in and won your first ever Xfinity race at Kansas Speedway. That's, that, that was a big win for you at that time, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was. Being able to be there in 04 when he won in Victory Lane and then uh, getting my first uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series win uh, there in 2018 was a huge accomplishment um, as well. Um, the feeling is still the same. Best of luck to you this weekend. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it.